Hello and welcome to week 23 of the Mayo Football Show podcast. This week we have action from the semi-finals of the Connacht Gold Super Cup, where Ballinat Town and Kesselbar Celtic were hoping for a repeat of last year's final as they faced Westport United and Clare Morris respectively. And in the Connacht Gold Premier Cup, the top two sides from the Premier League, Snugbury United and Ballyhonest Town, faced opposition from League One in the form of Manola B and Kesselbar Celtic B. But first of all, the tragic death has occurred of David Walsh. David was a player with Glynhest Rovers since joining them at under-12s and has been mentioned in this podcast several times, including last weekend when he scored for Glynhest. Glynhest Rovers posted a touching and heartfelt tribute to David on their Facebook page, describing him as a fantastic player, a leader, passionate, humorous, very witty, competitive, a great friend, teammate and clubmate. We would like to take this opportunity to send our sincere condolences to his family, his friends and his clubmates. Our yes J go Rawananam. As a mark of respect for David, a minute's silence will be observed before all matches next weekend. Balnau Town took another step in retaining this Connacht Gold Super Cup with a fine second half performance that saw them pass the challenge of Westport United. The sides went in level at the break after Brandon Scahill equalised for Westport when Dylan Edwards had given Mick Duffy's side the lead. In the second half, Balana upped their performance levels and Dylan McKee had them well in control midway through the half as he scored twice. Mark Brain then made it 4-1 before Mikey O'Brien pulled a goal back for John Russell's side. Balanado wrapped up the tie as Edward added his second of the day in injury time to restore Balanas' three-goal lead. The game of the weekend took place in Concanon Park as Castle Barsetti came from 3-0 down to make it through to the final after a penalty shootout win over Clemoris. Clemoris looked odds-on to make it to the final and they raced into a three-goal lead within the opening 15 minutes with Ronan Commons, Danny Broderick and Ushin Brady all on target for the home side. Celtic struggled to get to grips with their dynamic attack but eventually got back into the game and Gerald Boyle was instrumental in the comeback as he had reduced their arrears to just one goal by half-time, putting one goal back almost immediately after Clemaris' third and adding a second just eight minutes later. O'Boyle then completed his hat-trick five minutes after the break to bring the sides level and it remained that way as the game went into extra time. Jason Hunt then put Celtic in front and just when it looked like Celtic had done enough, Clemaris equalised through Finian Brady with two minutes of extra time remaining and the tie had to be settled by a penalty shootout. Celtic were the ones celebrating at the end as they came through on a 5-3 scoreline to set up a repeat of last year's Connacht Gold Super Cup final where they lost out to Ballina Town. Snugbury United are through to their second final of the season as their quest for the treble continues. It was Snugborough who opened the scoring when Kevin Curry headed home a Norbert Carl free kick after just four minutes. Curry then grabbed his second after 20 minutes as he lobbed the Manola keeper from 40 yards. Going two down sparked Manola B into life and they played some great football for the next 20 minutes. Shane Hegarty and the Borough goal had to save the day on a couple of occasions. As half-time approached, Snugborough showed their clinical side and went 3-0 up when Jason Ormsby got on the end of a Kevin Curry cross. It was Ormsby's sixth goal in seven games. Moments later, Norbert Carroll capitalised on a mix-up in defence and lobbed the keeper from distance with his so-called weaker foot. Snugborough went in 4-0 up at half-time, a scoreline that didn't reflect Manola's overall play. They set that right in the second half and capitalised on a weakened Snugborough team who had lost Sean Curry and Ben Lynch to injury earlier on. Manola brought it back to 4-1 on 55 minutes, but despite dominating possession, only got their second with five minutes to go. Stubborough got their 17th win in a row and now look forward to yet another final, while Manola B will be aiming to wrap up the League One title next weekend. Ballyhonest Town will be Snugborough's opponents in the Connacht Gold Premier Cup final, courtesy of a 4-1 win over Kesselbar Celtic B in Celtic Park. After a goalless first half, it took Ballyhonest less than five minutes to take the lead, as Deo Addix finished expertly from inside the area. Addix made it two shortly after, and the game looked over when Celtic player manager Brian Mannion was sent off for a second bookable offence. Celtic though fought back and cut the Ballyhonest lead in half when Michael Mohan struck a brilliant free kick on 75 minutes. The next goal was always going to be very important and it went the way of Ballyhonest as a Celtic defender chipped his own keeper to score an unfortunate own goal. Addicts then wrapped up his hat-trick from the penalty spot after he was fouled in the box. Uh, 
Um, we're happy enough the second half, yeah. First half we're very sloppy. Didn't hold on to the ball enough. Poor possession. Our retention of the ball was poor, but yeah, we improved a good bit in the second half. But it was a very, very good Casper team. We had some good football in the first half and it caused a lot of problems for us. Dio was probably the star of the show again today. Uh, he was, but he got a lot of balls just supplied to him. Like It's a team performance, you know. Dio's a good player, but he's good help around him. So. Any one of the lads who they just seem to be in the right place at the right time to put the ball in the net. And this sets up a final with uh, Snugber, two you going very well in the Primber division. Ah, yeah, Snugber are a very, very good side. They're solid all across, so they should go into that final. Probably his favourites, and rightly so. They're a very, very, very good side, better still in the season, so we'll see. It'll be an interesting day. I'm sure your aim is to take game promotion first. That's be four months Oh, yeah, way. look, at there's four league games to go, and then Hester playing very well, and Swinford are still playing very well. They're still there, and anything could happen in the last four games. Thanks, Tommy. Well done. And finally, confirmation of the lineup for this year's Connacht Gold Super Cup Final and Connacht Gold Premier Cup Final. In the Super Cup, it's Ballina Town taking on Kesselbar Celtic, a repeat of last year's final. And in the Connacht Gold Premier Cup, Snowbury United, who lost last year's final, will be playing Ballyhonest Town. It's back to league action for all four divisions next week. Thanks for watching, and we'll see you soon.